Why can't they just give you no, a couple more inches of flex, eh? Just a couple more inches. Good morning, everyone. You can probably tell by the title, this is a bit of a, um, a fault finding video. I had a lady call me up, said she's had some work done in her bathroom a couple of months ago and a few things aren't working, so uh, can I come and have a look? So just to give you the lowdown, I come and had a look and I said, well, the guy's done a nice job. Um, I said, how much did it cost? She said, he hasn't billed me and he's literally disappeared off the planet. Like, this electrician, like, you need to bill her, who, whoever you are. I know you're not going to see this video, but you need to bill this lady because she's expecting you to bill her, but you, you haven't. Um, so today I've got to find problems with underfloor heating, Matt, which... I'm guessing if something is wrong with it, like he, you know, the cost of replacing it always gone out of the way. What it's cost, you know, what he's charged. So maybe that's why he's disappeared. If he knows there's a problem with the mat, so I've got to look at the heating mat. There's no guarantee I can fix it. Um, also, I've got to look at an LED mirror that's not working, extractor fan that's not working. I've got to mount a towel rail, um, etc. So we'll uh, we'll get the tools out of the van. We'll get in there and I'll, and I'll walk around. We'll have a quick look. Right, first things first, when I came last time this had a fault code on it, so I had a quick look online, um, it's, I think it might be to do with the uh, the probe that gets inserted down the wall, I think it's either come disconnected in here or it's faulty, so there is a setting, I've looked at the manufacturer's settings, we can set this to read air temperature rather than floor, and then maybe we can get this to warm up. Right, so if we look here, the chap, uh, she showed me this, has added in a couple of... Um, points off this local ring one being bathroom towel rail and one being bathroom and floor heating if we turn that off hopefully right that's now killed this uh, control thermostat slash uh, control panel we can now remove this and have a look okay if you never remove one of these before it's simply two screws underneath one there one there it just pivots off like so he says it's got to loosen it a little bit more two thousand years late he pivots off like that okay and then just be careful not to ever bend those because they go in that little slot there I've seen inside one of these. Effectively, this is coming from that uh, fuse spur. This is the power. Um, you've got the heated mat um, pair, and that's a little screen cable there. So you earth that, and then this will be the probe, which is in the floor, which I suspect is the problem. So he's either got these round the wrong way, seven and eight. So I'm going to flip those, or this probe's defective. Um, I'm going to disconnect it and then reprogram this to read air temperature rather than uh, the probe in the floor temperature. Right, so it currently says um, the floor is reading 17.5 degrees. I've put the target up to 23. What I want to see is this now rising. This is now uh, clicked on as if it's uh, uh, heating up. So hopefully now, uh, all I did was switch the, it says on here, um, on the back of this that this polarity uh, doesn't matter but if you read the manufacturer's instructions which I got offline it does say this does matter so I've switched them over we're going to see if this now starts to um, go up and if the floor gets warm and it all works as it should do right while we're letting that hopefully it's going to start doing something this LED mirror at all does not work okay so this should all light up uh, this is brand new, uh, it's been left, doesn't work, so I've got to take it off the wall, have a look why that's not working. Um, he's left a point here to mount a towel rail, so I've got to mount the towel rail there, which is fine. And also, extractor fan uh, isn't working, so I've got to check that out. But as I get through it, I'll, I'll talk you through what I'm doing and if I can rectify it today. Right, um, don't you wish all jobs were this simple? I'm not sure if this is a switched feed or feed. I haven't literally done anything yet. So I'll just put that switch on. And I think she's been trying to switch on here, but I know a lot of mirrors have a switch there. So there you go. Uh, yeah, that, that, wasn't, that wasn't very hard. I think this is literally an override switch with a demister pad. Uh, I'm gonna have a look, but I'm pretty sure 
that's the mirror switch. That's the demister, so she's got to leave that that one on for the demister there. So I can feel that. That's that's warm. Um, we'll have a test of that. Um, if don't know if you know, but you can put a hot tap on. Um, let the steam rise, and you'll see that that um, that demister pad will be working. But yeah, that's a nice, easy fix under there. Right, just a little update. I can I've, I've just whipped that off to have a quick look. I'm going to mount this towel rail now. I can already feel this floor is getting hot. And if you look at the display now, it's at 20.5. Uh, I've set it to 23. I'm probably going to put that up uh, a little bit more. But you can physically feel this now warm to the touch. So it's good that the actual heating mat isn't damaged, uh, which is really, really good. It's good news for the client anyway. But while we're here, uh, moving on to the extractor fan. So I've isolated here, checked it's dead. It's low feed there anyway. So. I've dropped the cover off. It looks like it has been working because you, know, you can see the sort of like talcum powder. Um, this is a flat roof apparently. So what I'm gonna do is just go on the outside of the building, see if I can see any outlet for this fan first before we get in, into this uh, first. All right, so this is not a flat ceiling at all. Look, it's half, that's the neighbors. This is this half. There's not an outlet on here at all for an extractor fan anywhere. So, I reckon that fan is blowing in that little loft. Hence why it is, it's actually not doing anything. I'm gonna go and check the fan now. All right, I see why this fan isn't doing anything. This duct is just shoved up in the ceiling. This doesn't go anywhere. Literally, that's up in that roof that I just showed you. Um, it doesn't go anywhere. So I don't know what she's gonna want me to do, but... Um, We'll put the fan back up and we'll let her know what the crack is with that. Right, small update. I've labelled this up for her. The Mr. Pad switch there. This is now red hot, so that's just not been left on long enough. She's thought that was the light switch, and I've just put LED mirror switch underneath. Um, extractor fan is now back on. That needs a vented roof tile putting in, so I could do that for her. And if I put that on, I've managed to get the fan working. Just a loose connection up there. The fan's now working, just doesn't go anywhere, it's just blowing in that roof. All I've got left to do is fit that towel rail and then program this up for her, which is uh, I've got working as well. Well, I'm just moving on to mounting this towel rail, it's very self explanatory. Bolt the brackets to it, basically fix that to the wall. That sits in there, then you just put a little locking screw. Uh, through there, so all you've got to do is get these centers all in the right place before you drill your tiles. Just double check it all. Uh, one thing I'm not happy with look, that little bit's meant to go on there, but where does that go? Just buries in the wall, does it? So that's literally gonna have to go, I'm gonna have to like do something with this flex, and then it's gonna have to be flexed out and into a flex outlet. I'm not sure actually how it's gonna look, but. Give it a go. It's nice and long though, look, not. Picked up this little, um, it's like a multi um, drill bit, it does ceramics, masonry, wood, metal even. Um, that's my that's my circle there that I've drawn around that leg, just in pencil so I can rub it off and then basically just go dead centre there. Um, no hammer, just take it round on drill and just go progressively really, keep cooling the drill bit and it also lubricates and then you end up with that nice neat um, finish. Also, you don't want to be hammering um, a drill bit there because that could cause a crack to go up through this tile. So it won't be so bad if it's, you know, that one down there will be okay. And I've done it on the mortar line, so it's going to be a lot easier. Um, but these two, I don't really want to have to be replacing tiles. So just, just take it easy, take time, it's no rush. Okay, there's me four brackets. Um, centre of this wall, uh, level. And the rad just slips on there and just put the grub screws up. Then I've got to decide what I'm going to do with that stupid little flex on the bottom there. I had a bloody nightmare with this. I've had to take this apart, reflex this here, so it now comes up here. Got a grommet in there, manage to drill behind the tiles, and then this nice little cover will cover this. So I'm just going to ease this bracket off, get that to sit over that now, and find some focus, to be honest. All right, there we go. All cleaned up, done. Nice little job. Oh, this is all working for her now. 
Uh, not that I did that much with that, but I can now that demister pad's off. That's uh, working. That's got a little switch under there. Uh, you can see. Put that on. That lights up, so she can just switch that on and off from here. Um, I managed to fish behind the tiles. I've labelled up the switches in the utility, and, and I'll tell you about the fan. That's this one done. Okay, just before I forget, this did go into an ER1 outcode, which I did look online, and it does say that the probe might be damaged. I did check it, and I'm getting some sort of resistance there, but not enough. So what I've done is gone into settings, and you can change it to read air temperature. If you see there, air. So that's what I've done now, so it's not using the floor probe. It's not as accurate, because obviously it's reading the temperature outside the bathroom, but at least the floor will heat up. Um, and this is already 22, so she's going to have to set it a bit higher, but yeah. Nice job. Christian also changed the fuse board, but I haven't got time. What is it? A chint? Hmm. I haven't got time to have a look in there, but yeah. Great. I might I might say to her full test, see what she says. So hopefully that's where I will get a fit of vented tile in there. But it's just a flat one, so it's a pretty simple job. Right, that's that little job done. I just had my phone go off for a guy saying Oh Chris, I can't wait to uh, meet you, come, come and look at my job. I just totally forgot that I've got to go look at a job. It's 40 minutes away, so I thought I had a nice easy one today. But hey ho, I've got to fit three lights this afternoon. I'll show you a quick picture of that. And maybe a picture of the job I'm going to look at. So, see you in a minute. Right, there we go, another couple of happy customers. Um, I haven't informed the uh, the first client yet um, about the fan and stuff, so I'll, uh, I'll let you know what she says. And just to let you know, my previous video that I did, not my last client, but my last video that I uploaded of the um, the client that wanted to sort of help me and do a lot, yeah, he's he paid the bill, so there's no worries there. He was happy as Larry. Um, also, the last one I just went to, um, the two Darlight in... It was actually three dial lights to put up. Typical manufacturer said, yeah, they're easy. Do them yourself. Client, um, he couldn't do them. Bless him. Um, so, yeah, I fitted those three lights for him. They're very happy. And they've taken a card. So, any little job leads to more work. Just remember that. So, get yourself some cards printed. Keep them in the van and just give them out as you go. So, if you found the video interesting, uh, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.